So, show us what uh, what the new advances in the UMPC space are with Vista. What you guys have changed and, and what's new. Obviously, you can run Vista, and we couldn't until now. But what what more special things have we done? Uh, uh, we've created the uh, past few months. We've been working on this origami experience application, which is uh, it's an extension of our sort of original touch pattern released in sort of uh, April and May right. this year, where you could just sort of have quick access to your programs. Right, and so it, was, it was a launcher. I mean, yeah, it just it, it was a launcher program to get you to right, something yeah. else. So we still have that in here. So we still have the, the programs in here in a very sort of similar, but it's sort of a, a sort of a nicer experience now. The transitions and the effects all of our nice arrow effects. Yeah, it's yeah. just fun, you know, nice to use. Sure. Uh, but we also built in this sort of media experience into the application. Okay. So now uh, your UMPC can be a very sort of device-like media consumption uh, media consumption hardware. So you don't have to sort of fumble around with small buttons and controls and try and do right clicks and so stuff I, like that. I mean I can see it looks really similar to just the, the media center bar that I see when I launch media center. Right. So it's, it's, in many ways it's similar to that but what we've done is if you look down the button down here it's a very you always have access to music wherever you are, whatever media you're playing, whether you're playing video or music, you always have access to that wherever you are. Those controls. So as soon as the application starts I can just hit play and it'll start playing back whatever I was okay. playing last time. Okay. So we're trying to sort of make it like an MP3 player where it's just sort of on and off and you can stop it and start it. More of a device centric back. experience. Yeah. So, you know, we have a nice sort of picture of what you're playing right now. Sure. And down here we have a uh, just a list of playlists. Oh, all right. So if you organize your music into playlists, you can just tap on one of these and it'll start playing back straight away. Correct. And of course, just the usual media controls, you know, skip the next song. Right, so like right, all those things. That's right, you'll, you'll see you'll see sort of a trend going on here. <laughs> so as you tap through, we created some new controls here. So when you tap on an item, it expands out. Right, and you've got a couple buttons that are one of those. Right, and there's, a, there's a play button, so you can start playing that back immediately. Or you can tap this button, which will uh, put it into your favorites list. Okay. So then when you go to your favorites list, so it's, the favorites list is really just a special playlist. It's a dynamic playlist yeah. you can... And it, remove things yeah, quickly. Yeah, and under the covers is a playlist, but we've sure. searched at the top and people right. can get to it quickly. So then you can just sort of play that out and then so you can put together whatever music you're in the mood for right. very quickly. Right, right. So you can quickly tap through your library and add stuff to this. Rather than the sort of you know hours or days of authorship right. that playlists can yeah. take up. So if you go into videos you have a sort of it's very similar. So here was the last video I was playing which was uh, an ad. The finest at American advertising. That's right. So, you know, you just tap on the tap on the video and it starts playing. You tap right. on it again, and it goes to full, like screen. to full screen. Right. Yeah. 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 And then you tap on the screen. The controls come back for a while. Right. And they go away again. Yeah, so if yeah. you tap on it while the controls are up, it goes back. That's perfect. So it's just very easy to use. It's not sort of you don't have to think about it. Right. You can sort of set it up in your in your home and hook it up to your if you listen to music and hook it up to your stereo your system and just sort of walk by remote. and just like you now I've listened to something else right it quickly so right, right. Like and the fun thing is that when you go back to the anywhere else the video is still playing in the bottom left right here. right so if you tap that then it just goes straight back out perfect yeah so the videos and music obviously does make a lot of sense you've sort of you've flattened the navigation right it's basically what we've done. Done. yeah um, and then you said you were going to show us how pictures have changed a little bit. Right, so pictures have a, it's a, it's a, again, it's a very similar sort of navigation model where you have, you know, the left hand side has the categories down here and sure. you can go through them. We have uh, slideshows, tags, slideshows again, and just you know, right. the, the undercovers, playlists, right. tags, then all pictures, and the, the favorites is there too. Okay. So there's two sort of pictures uh, experiences we've tried to build in here. One is that You've got some pictures and you want to show them to some friends. Or right, whatever. right. So you can, you know, say I want to view them manually and you can just tap through and go through oh, and show them to people. So, you know, 
This is actually a sample uh, slideshow put together from pictures from members of the team. The development oh, team great. Put Good these for together. you guys. So, none of mine are in here, though, because mine is my, apparently my sort of snapshots <laughs> from my vacation. Oh, it's fine. You, you bring the funk, though, so you Yeah, I do, I do. I, I had that, and they, they, you know, there's pictures of me in, the shorts, in my shorts on the beach. Apparently didn't make the cut. No, 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 not as interesting no, as not, Joshua not, Tree. Not that interesting, apparently. Right. So, but also, you can use it as a photo frame. And that was one of the things we wanted to do. So you can. It's actually one of the things our one of our team members does without knowing it. That's all his UMPC does is sit there and show right. photos. So you can sort of the way we've done it. You can play music and you know have the photo frame going at the same time. Right. So we put some sort of nice slideshows together. So this one sort of just brings them in once every. You can set the time between the pictures. Sure, sure. You've got five those seconds sort of sliders. Right now. So this is like somebody just sort of throwing them down. On That's the really cool, actually. Yeah. This is sort of new for us. And then, if we come, I can show you another slideshow. You can go in and pick a different one. So, you, know. you got your few options there. What are your options on that previous screen? Well, going back here, you can change the uh, background. So right mm -hmm. now I have this red background, and there's sort of six backgrounds uh, in the box. And can you just feed it any image that's in the machine and have that? Yeah. So if I want to have a different background, like one of my sort of pictures from vacation or whatever, I can go and, well, and pick one. Now yeah. you've sort of left your finger-friendly experience just for a bit. Yeah, just for a little bit, but um, some of the stuff you're going to see a little later will show you that how you can sort of make some adjustments to this so, oh, cool. so it's okay. sort of finger-friendly. Right. Yeah. So this isn't, this, isn't, uh, this isn't too bad. No, no, no. So, no. so uh, pick the pictures. There's a picture from uh, vacation. Oh, yeah. Great. So you can sort of personalize it and Good. it sort of, you know, pick some different music. It's my theme again. Yeah. yeah. Young MCs, we don't, you never near, hear enough Young MCs. That's right. Um, so the last thing on that menu, obviously, is programs. So mm -hmm. Do you change it all beyond sort of the, this is just your back to our app launcher? And it is, it is uh, still an application launcher. Uh, one of the issues with the uh, previous uh, release, mm -hmm. plan, and what was time constraint really, was that when you wanted to uh, add a new application, right. you were still back into the sort of this small sort of control right. experience. Right. So what we've done on this one is, if you go down to the programs and in sort of the options and settings down here, okay. we've sort of built that into sort of the sort of origami friendly UI. So you give me the ability to choose what apps are going right, to show up. Right. So you can do, you can add all this stuff and you can edit the names and everything. Without, with all oh, just using your finger, finger you don't need a stylus, you don't need a keyboard, right? Or like right, that. that's, that's great. Right. It's all fat finger friendly, as you to say. There's a few other little sort of tweaks on the top here. There's a uh, we integrated the window switcher, the that's window nice. switcher up here, so you can go through and pick different things, right? Very quickly without. So if you want to get if you want to get back to the desktop, you just back to the desktop, just like oh, that. There it is. That's two nice. taps, and you're back to the that's desktop. That's really nice. Yeah. We also put the uh, linked up the mobility center up here, so you can get to all your mobile PC settings. Perfect, right? perfect. Yeah. I'll turn my wireless on and off whenever I jump on the plane. The other use case that I that just comes to my mind, if I were going to have one, is web browsing. And obviously, you can't expect individual mm -hmm. websites to be fat finger friendly. But did you guys look at any ways to make? I.e. more. We did. Natalie's going to show you some of those in a little bit, but but, okay. well, but I can actually I'll, I'll jump the gun a little bit. Um, so this thing's not on the network. So as soon as I hit this, it's going to give you a full full page. Yeah, it's not not the, the nicest demo in the world. <laughs> right, you know, but but people be prepared for that. That's so fine. I'll have it on the network right now. So we did actually uh, work with the I.E. team and made a few changes mm -hmm. to I.E. and actually they were mostly in the full screen mode. So uh, when I I using full screen now, you get this. Uh, you, know, you get a reasonable scroll bar. Oh, that's great! And work with. That makes a lot of sense. But also to get back to um, out of full screen, this uh, tap area up here was very very small. It was like sort of one pixel. Right. So it was almost you know, you can't get your fingernail up there and jump right. up in the corner. And yeah, exactly, exactly. So they made it a little bigger for us. Okay. So you just have to tap up here now, and this this comes back straight that's away. That's great. And that makes it a lot easier. Just a, just little things like that. Right. Just to make it so you know it's kind of usable on a UMPC. Sure. sure. But once you get a web page in here and you've got this uh, nice scroll bar and you can setting, which is a, a setting we'll show you later. Okay. Uh, you can move around and navigate pretty easily. Okay. That's know. great. I think it's awesome. 
All right, well, um, in closing, tell us your name and what you do for oh, Microsoft. I'm, I'm Jeremy White. Right. I'm a program manager on the UNPC development team. Exactly. And I've been working on this since, I guess, February or March this year. Great. Yeah. I'm very excited to get out at CES, though. Okay. Yeah. Hoping to have a good time showing it to everybody. Excellent. Thanks. So Jeremy showed us the media functionality and how to walk around inside of my pictures and video and music. How do I, how do I get underneath it and control control the user interface, the fat-fingered user interface? All right, well, we've made it um, a little bit easier for users to adjust all of the settings that are available in Windows right. um, that make it easier to use with your fingers. Okay. So we've provided under here under programs, um, tools, tools, there's something called touch settings. And basically what that does is it groups together a bunch of settings that when all applied, we think it really optimizes it for the touch experience, so it widens scroll bars, right. um, it makes items in the start menu bigger, it just basically makes things easier to more accurately. Finger more finger friendly, less friendly. Exactly. stylus exactly. and cursor focused. Exactly, so we've, we've made this a little easier for users this time around. So one, you can just go for the whole thing and say, yeah, I want it to be touch optimized mm -hmm. um, based on what we feel is touch optimized. Uh, we have the uh, restore to defaults just in case you want to go back to Windows defaults, but okay. then um, you can customize here, it more exactly. specifically. So you can say, okay, I want IE to be optimized and the scroll bars to be optimized, but you know, don't touch anything Leave else. Leave the start because... menu alone. Exactly, exactly. Okay. It's just a one-stop shop right here to change all those settings. And do these controls, do they affect what's outside of the, the origami UI? Exactly. They exactly. Go, so they go back. When I go back and use just Vista inside this device, it'll respect these settings. Yeah, and these are all change. Th these are changing like Vista settings specifically. So um, this one here, title bar, that would change like the max, min, close buttons okay. at the top of your window. So any window that you would open that has the standard windows max, min, okay. close okay. Um, would be fatter and bigger. Okay. The other use case that you know, if I had bought myself a UMPC that I could see doing is reading a lot with right. it because it doesn't weigh nine pounds and it has a really large display. Right. So h how have you sort of made it easier for me to use it as, you know, a reader? Awesome. Yeah, we actually worked with the Microsoft Reader team mm -hmm. and let me close out of this one, cancel out. Here we go and open up to more programs. We've um, optimized a version of Microsoft Reader specifically for the device. Okay. So it uses up the whole screen real estate and we've added touch-friendly settings um, to make it super easy to use. So here we are in the library. In our um, pack that's shipping out, we're actually going to have some sample uh, content right. for users. So one of the things we're going to have is the, um, this uh, book Constellations. Oh, great. It's a Star Trek um, book. So you, you know tap it, it's very easy to tap. You go in and here's the UI. So you can see it fills the whole screen. And except for my star bar. Except for your star bar. My star bar will always be there. It will be always, right. always be there. That's good, in case I want to do something else. Exactly. But you can also change the size of the font really easily, so you can make it bigger or smaller depending Great. on um, your visuals. But then here, you can see these little arrows, and they can actually be turned off um, once you understand where the zone is. But you can just click to the next page. It's a very so natural reading experience. That's awesome. When you say turned off, that part of the screen will always do that function, yes, you just will. make the icon disappear. Exactly. That's yep. cool. Okay. So, like other versions of Reader, um, built for touch or tablet devices. So I could select something, I can oh, even... Yeah. Oh, sorry, maybe that was too quick. I'll show you yeah, in a second, I but I can, other you know, I can add oh, that's awesome. any comments to it. Sure. Um, makes it here, I won't save that, but uh, here we'll make another... So if you're reading along and you want to make a highlight... Or a bookmark. Add a bookmark. So if, exactly. That's very cool. Um, so you just add a bookmark, and then, you know, as you're reading, you can easily get back to that specific page. Oh, and it even puts a little a little red sash there. Exactly. Excellent. Yep. All right, cool. So if you tap here, we've got really big controls we've added for sure. touch. So you can you know, go between the pages or between chapters um, mm -hmm. pretty easily, and you can add bookmarks this way as well. So, yeah. That's awesome. So we go back to the library here. In, uh, in, in closing, tell us <laughs> your name and what you do for Microsoft. Um, my name is Emily Remus, and I am a program manager on the UMPC team. Great. working on software for this device. Great. Thanks, Emily. Thank you. Cool.